Consolidation of non-wholly owned subsidiaries. Topic three, bargain purchases. Time for a quickie. A bargain purchase occurs when the total value of consideration given is less than the value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets. So you bought it for less than it's quote worth. This results in negative goodwill. You record a gain on bargain purchase in consolidated financial statements in the income statement, uh, which would then flow through to be a credit to retained earnings. Uh, this is very, very rare. Uh, and in fact, the first step under IFRS when you recognize that there is a bargain purchase is actually to recheck all your calculations and <laughs> recheck all of your assumptions to make sure that this is in fact really a good deal and something to be recording as um, a bargain purchase on your financial statements. If the parent records its investment in a subsidiary using the equity method, then you would record a gain and a corresponding increase in the investment in the standalone financial statements. The acquiree may have goodwill on their standalone financial statements. This would result in the sub having been involved in a prior business combination, that is a purchase of assets or shares, prior to the parent acquiring control over the subsidiary in this current uh, exercise that we're looking at. In that case, the goodwill from the subsidiary is not included in the consolidated financial statements that the parent is now acquiring, as you cannot acquire another person's goodwill. So simply put, goodwill is not considered an identifiable net asset in the acquisition. Let's take a look at a question. Which of the following results in the recording of a gain upon acquisition of a subsidiary? Is it A, the acquisition differential is negative. B, the value of the subsidiary equity is greater than the value of the consideration paid. C, the consideration paid is less than the value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets. Or D, Management can elect to report a gain. The correct answer is C. Um, a gain would be recorded upon acquisition of subsidiary in the case when the acquirer paid less than the identifiable net assets are actually, quote, worth. Thank you so much. I'll see you for one last video shortly.